and welcome to our lecture number two to the drafting um, I mentioned earlier on that not everything in Revit has to be modeled in 3d uh, there are going to be instances where basically you can go in with 2d lines and pretty much uh, fill in the gaps I mean what Revit guarantees is that you have a completely coordinated drawing from elevations, plans, sections, and wall section standpoint. Um, but it's not going to sit there and give you all the minute detail. That's where 2D uh, drafting pretty much comes into play. And it's really, really easy to do. Um, it, this is, for my AutoCAD users out there, this has been pretty much where you'll feel a little bit more at ease or a little bit more at home with it. It's basically just 2D lines. Keep in mind that when you are using 2D drafting, um, the lines that you're using will only be visible in the viewport that you are working on. For example, if I'm in floor plan level 2 right now, if I were to be doing 2D drafting lines, it will only show up under level 2. If I go to level 1, if I go to my elevations, if I go to my sections, they will not show up that's pretty much the uh, the trick to them so for example um, I've created right now a condition where it's just a volume and let me go ahead and shade this for you guys so you can see a little bit better and it's just a, a floor here and it's just a little volume here I've gone ahead and I've cut a section as you can see and uh, let me go ahead and go to my section view and this is what I have so far now to go to, to the drafting Anything that has to deal with annotations, like dimensions, text, um, or even drafting to the drafting lens are always going to be under the annotate tab. Okay, we talked about the aligned um, dimensioning before, and here's detail line. Detail lines we talked about once where sometimes uh, on certain occasions reference planes just will not work. Uh, while you're modeling so sometimes I like to use detail lines as just kind of just very quick uh, sketch lines and then just erase them after well here's pretty much what we're gonna use to do our 2d drafting so you can actually go in with detail lines and start for example filling any of the gaps so if you want to draw in a structure or you if there's anything specifically that you want to do at this point you can just draw a regular line and let's say if I want to say select a line and I can copy it copy it up and I want to make that four inches and there's my line it's four inches now when I select the line also if you notice everything in Revit has assigned pretty much uh, line weights if you select the line it won't happen again if you don't select the lines you have to make sure the lines are selected you automatically get this little drop down list line style when you click down these are the default lines you can make a median lines as you can see the line just got a little bit thicker you can make them even wider lines so you can fake you know I hate to use the word fake but it, you know what as I keep saying what Revit will always do is provide the framework the skeleton for you you'll still have to go in and give it you know the minute details but you can always go in and once again going with lines and to start drawing anything you want out of it and all this could be just regular 2d lines and uh, you know I'm just kinda sketching here let's say we want to do like a, a truss it's just a structure I want to go in and hit chain so they're just continuous lines Oops. Uh, well you get the idea that that's pretty much what you can start doing to um, just kinda set up for yourself any type of uh, detailing or, or whatever else out of it that's a 2d line uh, in a nutshell it's really really easy and once again detail line and you have different shapes not just lines you can do circles rectangles the same thing we've been doing up to now where you, you kept seeing that with floors and roofs and anything else the same thing applies even to this so you can have 2d circles and we've been doing it in section but if you want to do it, for example, in floor plan, you can absolutely do uh, 2D lines and floor plans. So you can set up a circle. Maybe that circle, you want to give it, go ahead and click down here, and you want to give it a hidden line, for example. You go ahead and select that, and then maybe make it a hidden line. There you go. See what I just did right there? All I do is I select it, and then 
you have wide line, thin line, medium line, so on and so forth, and then you can select hidden line, center line. What that does, it basically assigns a specific line type to it. So it's a neat way, uh, basically, to uh, create 2D drafting items, just items that are just in 2D uh, that you really don't have to model in 3D and take up resources from your computer and uh, pretty much, uh, you know, lighten up the model and just the detail as, as finely as possible. And that's 2D drafting in a nutshell. Thank you very much.